Welcome to Dice Junkies. I'm Xenodamus. I'm here with Q. And on Skype, we have... What a hex, finally. He's back! I finally like, got you in a Dice Junkie shirt, and he's not wearing his. I'll never get all three of us in the shirts <laughs> at the same time on camera. <laughs> we'll never look know. like we actually work together. <laughs> you didn't let me know. Well, I never expected. He, he, he was, you know what? It was an accident. He just had to get his shirt that yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. I just grabbed what was on the top like, of the no. pile, honestly. I'm he just... would have never intentionally looked like he was a dice junk. Yes, it, was, it was on top of the pile. Which, I mean, there is a good ratio, because I have like five t-shirts in that pile. So. And you, But you find a way to avoid it every <laughs> so time. So if I'm blindly grabbing a black t-shirt to wear, there's a good chance it's because the only time he wears a Dice Junkie shirt is when I'm not wearing one. And then he's like, oh, okay, I can put it on now. <laughs> now, Sandman, <laughs> I will say this is this is the, this is is the probably the only thing in the other category outside of DC and Marvel that really uh, has has got me where I'm like, I may watch that. Um, yeah, dude, the visuals I remember, were incredible. I remember the Sandman comics. Now, I'm not expecting this to be the Sandman comics because... I, I don't think that's really possible on TV. Um, you should watch this as a fantasy movie and not well, as a fantasy comic horror. Movie. Fantasy horror, but not as a comic movie because already I know they've changed too much for you to that for well, people yeah. who are very strict on it. But I will say, but it looks good. You know the 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 light hearted Lucifer series, nothing like the comic. Yes, I enjoyed it. Um, it. So. You know, this is a uh, the, the, one of the main reasons why they didn't use the Lucifer from uh, the series was because they wanted to go darker with Sandman. Which honestly, there's no way to do a lighthearted Sandman and get anywhere near the comics. You could do the lighthearted Lucifer and get near the comics. You can't do it with Sandman. Um, and so they 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 definitely pulled off a very dark theme. Looking at the trailer, uh, I, like I thought it. the visual effects look really good on this. Uh, I'm I'm sort of excited for this one. This is I, one I am. Sort I'm of a massive for. Dresden dance fan and urban fantasy. I've probably read four or five hundred urban fantasy novels. Like I I used, went on a huge binge, mm -hmm. and I love dark urban fantasy. And this looks like when I first thing I what was the comment I mean I even said man I wish Constantine had looked like this because like yeah. this is a nice dark fantasy set in the modern times. I like its look. I like its style. I wish it was a series because it looks great. I think this is a movie, right? This isn't a series. It's a series, I think. Ooh, is it a series? Even better. Maybe then, it is honestly, a movie. I, I don't know. I thought I, I, I thought they were doing a series because I, I I love the Maybe idea of dark fantasy. I would love to see more stuff like that because that's my jam, man. Uh, that's one of the things I really enjoy, and that's why I don't care if it's comic book accurate because it just looks like a really good dark fantasy series. Look, I'm not always a stickler about accuracy. I'm just stickler for accuracy if you got nothing else going for you. Either be accurate or be good. You can't not be either. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, Blood Axe? Like, yeah. you can't not be either. If you're not going to be accurate, then if you're going to tell a new story, yes. tell a good new story. It's a, it's a television series. Yes, even better. That means I actually get a full. All right, I'm going to watch that. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it looks like a great dark fantasy series. I, I'm really excited. Because I haven't got one in a while. I mean, I don't think they're ever going to redo do another Dresden series. And if they do, Dresden, I kind of want them to be accurate. I ain't going to lie. That's the one I, I've read all the books. I want to be accurate. This, play with it a bit. If you're using that kind of beautiful visuals and the acting looked really good, then I don't mind accuracy. I tell your own story because it looks like they have a good style. They have something. They have a style, a, you know, an atmosphere. Just give me something to work with. And so far, this looks to me like I'm expecting it to be good. All right, I'm I'm expecting yeah. to be good. Which I mean, if 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 IMDb is correct too, when it comes out August fifth, we're gonna get eleven. I can binge eleven episodes. So, Ooh. well, we'll we'll see if that's Does it accurate. See how long they are. We're getting are they short or long? Look, they should be long. This is like the kind uh, of series that would have an hour be, long. I mean, I, I'm I'm assuming the yeah, other gonna be those forty something minute, fifty minute uh, yeah. episodes most likely. Right. So uh, we'll see. Calls. Fingers crossed for a good dark fantasy series, everybody. I'm mm -hmm. hoping. Uh, you know, I love dark fantasy, and this looks like it's going to be beautifully stylish, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to wrap up there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out DiceJunkies.com where you find links everywhere we can be found online. Get on YouTube, like, subscribe, Facebook, you know, follow us there, all that good stuff. And as every week, we hope you enjoy. Just the player. Just the 
I'm not editing shit. I'm just putting all one fucking big file into here. Y'all have fun. <laughs>